So what's up everybody and welcome to your next YouTube debugging tutorial and, or Visual Studio debugging tutorial sorry and in this tutorial we're going to be learning about the immediate window now the immediate window is pretty pretty cool and I think you guys will uh, will like what's uh, what we're going to be doing uh, with the immediate window um, in this tutorial so what we're going to do is I'm going to put a breakpoint right there now um this set damage all it does is that it sets the player's damage to 50 so like you can see here the damage is set to 50 and it does uh like we expect and if we were to continue running this we go to locals or sorry auto sorry it's just that we it returns the value 50 so we know that the attack is just supposed to return um the damage um as a string so that's all it does. Um, that's basically all that program does. But with immediate mode, immediate mode allows us to actually make changes to our or do stuff with our code without actually making changes to the code itself. Uh, so let us uh, so once again, if we get to this breakpoint right here, so we can see that the attack is the damage is set to fifty. So we can go into this immediate window right here, and if it's not showing, then uh, just go to debug. Uh, I don't remember where I got it from. Uh, view. Hmm. I don't remember where I got it from, but it should be somewhere here. Maybe other windows. Maybe I'm blind. But the way I got it was Control D and then I. Uh, but uh, if you can't find it, you should be able to do a quick Google search in order uh, for it to show up. Uh, but uh, the immediate window will show up here, and the immediate window will allow you to make uh, certain calls without actually having to. Uh, to uh, sorry, in order to and uh, instead of having to uh, code them yourself. So right here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say player dot set damage and notice that it has intelligence and we say set damage and I can set a new damage so I'm gonna set it to 70 and we click enter now it says the expression has been evaluated and has no value this is because set damage returns void so it has it returns no value so I've just called set damage before I actually invoke attack now I'm gonna to go to the next line and as we can see it says that the attack returns 70 so without actually modifying the this code right here itself I just uh, invoke, invoke something in the immediate window which affected the code so you can use that to test certain things uh, so there's other stuff we can do as well so let's go um, uh, let's go inside uh, this method right here and let's uh, let's rerun this again and let's go inside so we can also with the immediate window we can put the question mark and we can put in the say the parameters name and it will print out the parameter what the value of the parameter is so if you ever want to see the value of it uh, you can do that as well and if you were to say for example say player dot attack or something or uh, say attack or something it will return uh, the it will give you the value so it will tell you what the actual method returns so as you can see it's turned to string it will return the value for you so um, if we wanted to say for example check okay if after we set the damage we want to see what the attack would be we can call attack and as you can see um, the damage says it's 50 the attack says that the damage is 50 could we just set it to 50 so the immediate window allows you to execute code basically it allows you to execute methods and such um, without actually having to write it in your code itself so also let's say our program isn't running but we wanted to do a uh, quick test or something so I can click my immediate window right here and hopefully you guys can see if it's in the corner and let me try something so I'm gonna say player dot attack and as you can see it says player is null so what we can do in this immediate window we can say player is equal to new player and we can instantiate a, a new player instance as you can see 
and it will set it will show us that the damage is equal to zero and then we can say player set damage uh, we can put value 50 or something and as you can see our program is actually executing and yeah so we can run some code some sample code of sorry I forgot to put new so we can run some sample code um, in the immediate window to do quick tests or whatever instead of actually adding it to our um, application itself or our program itself so I'm showing you again set the attack to 50 oh sorry it's not set attack set damage set damage or oh, set to 60 this time set to 60 and we can say attack as you can see, we'll print out the value 60. So it is in fact running right now. So it is in fact running, but uh, we can test out a bunch of methods in the immediate window and not even having to loop through or, ac or actually execute our application in the order which supposed to be executed in. So it's a pretty neat feature in order to do quick tests and, and whatnot. I don't use it too often, but it is handy in certain situations when you just want to do a quick test. So it's a cool little tool that you should have in your uh, in your toolbox, I guess. Um, so yeah, so that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And hope you enjoyed. And bye for now.